One card is drawn from a well shuffled deck of 52 cards. If each outcome is equally likely, calculate the probability that the card will be 1. A diamond 2. Not an ace 3. A black card 4. Not a diamond 5. Not a black card Let's see the solution. When a card is drawn from a well shuffled deck of 52 cards, the number of possible outcomes is 52. 1. Let A be the event that the card drawn is a diamond. Clearly, the number of elements in set A is 13. Therefore, probability of A is equal to 13 divided by 52, which is 1 by 4. Number 2. We assume that the event card drawn is an ace is B. Therefore, card drawn is not an ace should be B dash. We know that probability of B dash is equal to 1 minus probability of B, which is equal to 1 minus 4 by 52, which is equal to 1 minus 1 by 13, that is 12 by 13. Number 3. Let C denote the event card drawn is black card. Therefore, number of elements in the set C is 26. So, probability of C is 26 by 52, that is half. Number 4. We assumed in 1 above that A is the event card drawn is a diamond. So, the event card drawn is not a diamond may be denoted by A dash or we can say not A. Now, probability of not A is equal to 1 minus probability of A which is equal to 1 minus 1 by 4 that is 3 by 4. Number 5. The event card drawn is not a black card may be denoted as C dash or not C. So, probability of not C is equal to 1 minus probability of C that is 1 minus half which is equal to half. Example, a bag contains 9 discs of which 4 are red, 3 are blue and 2 are yellow. The discs are similar in shape and size. A disc is drawn at random from the bag. Calculate the probability that it will be red, yellow, blue, not blue and either red or yellow. Solution There are 9 discs in all so the total number of possible outcomes is 9. Let the events A, B, C be defined as shown. Number 1 The number of red discs is equal to 4. Hence probability of A is equal to 4 by 9. Similarly the number of yellow discs is 2 so the probability is equal to 2 by 9. Number of blue discs is equal to 3, so probability is equal to 3 by 9, that is 1 by 3. Clearly, the event not blue is not C. And we know that probability of not C is equal to 1 minus probability of C. Therefore, probability of not C is equal to 1 minus 1 by 3, that is 2 by 3. Number 5. The event either red or yellow may be described by the set A or C. Since A and C are mutually exclusive events, we have probability of A or C is equal to probability of A union C that is probability of A plus probability of C that is equal to 4 by 9 plus 1 by 3 which comes out to be equal to 7 by 9. Let's take another example. Two students Anil and Ashima appeared in an examination. The probability that Anil will qualify the examination is 0 0.05 and that Ashima will qualify the examination is 0 0.10. The probability that both will qualify the examination is 0 0.02. Then find that A. Both Anil and Ashima will not qualify the examination. Pro number B. At least one of them will not qualify the examination 
and number C, only one of them will qualify the examination. Come, let's see the solution. Let E and F denote the events that Anil and Ashima will qualify the examination respectively. Given that probability of E is equal to 0 0.05, probability of F is equal to 0 0.10 and probability of E intersection F is 0 0.02. Then, number A, the event both Anil and Ashima will not qualify the examination may be expressed as E dash intersection F dash. Number B, probability that at least one of them will not qualify is equal to 1 minus probability that both of them will qualify it is equal to 1 minus 0 0.02 that is 0.98 C the event only one of them will qualify the examination is same as the event either Anil will qualify and Ashima will not qualify or Anil will not qualify and Ashima will qualify that is E intersection F dash or E dash intersection F where E intersection F dash and E dash intersection F are mutually exclusive. Therefore, probability that only one of them will qualify is probability of E intersection F dash or E dash intersection F which comes out to be equal to 0.11. Since E dash is not E, that is, Anil will not qualify the examination, and F dash is not F, that is, Ashima will not qualify the examination. Also, E dash intersection F dash is equal to E union F whole dash by De Morgan's law. Now, P of E union F is equal to probability of E plus probability of F minus probability of E intersection F or probability of E union F is equal to 0 0.05 plus 0 0.10 minus 0 0.02 which is 0 0.13. Therefore, probability of E dash intersection F dash is equal to probability of E union F dash equals 1 minus probability of E union F which is equal to 1 minus 0.13 that is 0.87. A committee of two persons is selected from two men and two women. What is the probability that the committee will have no man, b one man and c two men? The total number of persons 2 plus 2 is 4. Out of these four persons, two can be selected in 4c two ways. A. No men in the committee of two means there will be two women in the committee. Out of two women, two can be selected in 2C two ways, which is equal to 1. Therefore, probability of no man is equal to 2C2 divided by 4C2, that is equal to 1 into 2 into 1 divided by 4 into 3. It comes out to be 1 by 6. B. One man in the committee means that there is one woman. One man out of two can be selected in 2C2 ways. Together they can be selected in 2C1 into 2C1 ways. Therefore probability of one man is equal to 2C1 into 2C1 divided by 4C2 that is equal to 2 into 2 divided by 2 into 3 and is equal to 2 by 3. C. Two men can be selected in 2C2 two ways. Hence, probability of two men is equal to 2C2 two divided by 4C2 which is equal to 1 by 6.